Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Um, I have done quite a bit of running around off camera again. Um, I went ahead and got the tall neck for this area, which unclouded all of this. Interestingly, I don't know if we're going to end up in this area at some point or if this is mostly meant to be water. I mean, obviously there's some land in here that I never bothered to go explore, but... I don't know if this is ever going to be unclouded or not. Um, I also found and explored the last cauldron. I haven't been down here either. I wonder if there might be another tall neck down there to find. I'm not sure. Um, at any rate, we are now at the base. There's a whole bunch of talking to people we got to do at the base. So... This might be another chatty episode because there's a bunch of things that we just kind of have to get moving. I gotta talk to Catalo. I gotta talk to um, oh the guy who's always talking about drinking, whatever his name is, um, and turn in some things and all sorts of other stuff. So let's wander around for a while and get that rolling and then we'll go from there. We'll just do the circle first. Aaron, that's the guy. Yeah. Alright, first things first. Let's see. Let's get the bellow back webbing. Let's get the roller back. Scorcher. Spike snout. So far, so good. Stalker. Okay, I need to find some dread wings. I need a ton of metal fangs and I need another piece from them too. Fire claw, not yet. Shell snapper, not yet. Looks like though that little batch of really big ones in the middle there I still need to get. Um, if you are hollering in the background, that is just my son being obnoxious. He's on uh, computer with his friends. He's on the computer. He's on the iPad with his friends, and he doesn't know how microphones work, so. Um. Oh, that was armor. So I just picked this armor up. Or had it given to me, I guess. Oh, man, I just used those stealth, jammer, stealth generators. Um. What I'm working towards is this one, which is a legendary armor. I finished off the salvage storyline, and so eventually I'll get to use that. That's the best armor I've got access to right now. So. Thanks, though. Thanks for the recap. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to continue with just looking at what I think is important just to keep this episode from being a million years long. Um, so I want to talk to her about these two things and I'll come back and talk to her later about the rest. Empire we are today. 
That's why he's one of our most revered ancestors. But based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in a legacy. Well, we must be piecing together the truth. If only the overseers back home would do the same. Beta mentioned other Zenas. Tilda, Ravenna, and Gerard. I'm afraid I don't know anything about them. Whatever legacy they left behind, the diviners haven't recovered. All right, good enough. I need to get going. All I need is to help you succeed in your mission. The plan Gaia told me about to capture Hephaestus, it will help set things right. I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. All right, nobody in here, nobody in here. This ought to be Catalo. Yes, it is. Talk to me about the arm, big guy. Hey, boy. Well met. We've been briefed on our mission and are ready whenever you wish to head to Colvin Jetline. Were you able to finish the new arm guy was hoping you would? Indeed. I was hoping we could discuss it if you have a moment. For you, buddy, absolutely. Well, your hint was the word tremor tusk. Gotcha. All right. Nothing in here. Nothing in my room. That's a way out. Let's go talk to Gaia real quick. I need to find a spot for Dreadwings. Alright, so I got two more of these missing. What is this? Of course we do. Restored, you can still succeed, right? All right, but the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with only the clearance, my current estimate is that Mirage will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by CS. Yes. Two cores, two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clans? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculated. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5. It looks like we're going to need Beta and Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our division? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zenas. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting herself in the face. Okay. 
all right. Okay, before we do that, though, let's go ahead and talk to these guys. There she is. I think you had an interesting time. Thieves. Maniacs. Lava. What smells like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready. Remember how Durval had a band of freebooters that retaliated against the Tarja? She was one of them. First female tinker in the claim to run her own forge. But when her family got killed in the Red Raids, she went bad. I thought she was dead, though. Taken out by one of the Morat's guys. Well, she's not. And she wants revenge against the Karja. We have to find out where she's operating from and stop her. I haven't had any luck finding someone with a focus at chain scrape, so I'll be scouting out Val and White next. I'll keep tracking her lackeys out west. We'll find her. We have to. It's thugs like her who murdered my sister. I should get going. As soon as you want. I'll give you a heads up. So you find out that name basically from... He's still got a thing over his head. Um, completing all of the rebel strongholds. We're going to zip through this just because I feel like... Okay, so there's not, like, an opportunity to grab a quest right now, at least. So... And let me know if you find any sons of Prometheus in Veritas. I will. Okay, well, the symbol's gone now, so... That seems to have worked. Welcome back. Good to be back. I could barely keep up if she gave herself a tour of the base. Varl gave her a new focus. Though, when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale I, I thought she'd faint on the spot. We showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like all but. Nerd! Had a go at the chorus left to refix the land gods. They were shocked when I told them that our lands would soon be on the mountain. I thought Fane's eyes would pop out of his head. But of course they had no choice but to take it as good news, even if it meant all their preaching about meekly accepting our doom was exposed as rot. To be honest, I found the conversation to be highly enjoyable. But <laughs> you deserve it. They're lucky that you never gave up on saving me. How to go with the chorus. They were sh I thought Fane, but of course that even if it meant to be honest, I'm glad they're lucky. Huh. Okay. God. So. Okay, yeah, her thing is gone too. Hmm. You've got one now. So this is super fun. I just now realized I didn't have my headphones on this whole time. So you've had no game audio for any of this. I imagine you don't know <laughs> Sorry about, about that. Relevant, it's Hopefully you read fast, I guess. You are the same person. I mean, you but even so. Yeah. Every so often I just forget I to put the headphones on. And knowing you, but maybe it'll
All right, enough of this. Let's go I head out. Right. To find out what happened to Beta. She is gonna be downstairs. Is it this one? No. I just run in a circle. Where is down? Okay, no, definitely not this way. tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back, alone, in a cell again? A slave. Forever. Laurel and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me! Nothing can protect me from them! I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! Beta... Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me. So what's the difference? What's my defect? He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win.
<laughs> Love the hologram just decides to wander off. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? I promise. I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merch, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. Okay, so we're fighting immortals from the stars now. See, and now I've got a new quest like though. That. What's next? Wizards from the moon? Yes, wizards from the moon, that's what's next. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. The ones Gaia and Beta built. <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable. Is everything alright? It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission? Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. <laughs> She's actually going to ask. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But, the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So, the legacy tells us, anyway, if we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, Maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So, where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. Of course not. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is... Well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. I should go. Make sure you talk to Gaia. May your path lead. And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Okay, so... That's just a random one. That's Alva's mission. That's Catala's mission. So we're going to do both of these. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll tell Gaia that we're ready for that last mission. So for right now, let's get Catalo his arm. Uh kind of feel like I should start a new episode for this because 
we're at 24 minutes, but at the same time, it's just been talky talky for the first little bit, and it wasn't even talky talky because you couldn't hear it. So let's get out of the base. Quick save. And where are we going? Pretty sure this is where Kotala wanted us to test his new arm. Not sure what he has in mind, though. Hey, Kotalo. I'm by the Tremor Tusk site, where we agreed to meet. Want to test that new arm of yours? I'll be there shortly. Thank you for waiting. Maybe now you can tell me what we're doing here? Not just yet. Follow me, please. <laughs> He's gonna have like a picnic table and a bottle Someone's of wine being set out. Mysterious. You took your sweet time telling me what you wanted to do to the bulwark. Consider this my revenge. Fair enough. This is it. What am I looking at? Oh, you'll see. Come. Okay, where are we going? All right, talk to me, Catalo. I wish to test the arm on that. It has menaced the valley for some time. Killed more than a few of the Sky Clan. But no longer. I'm honored to help. Why did he short himself a finger? After you. Dude, build all five fingers. Okay, what is that? Let's see how this thing likes the taste of metal. Oh, it's just a scorcher. Got him. Well, I think it's safe to say the new arm works fine. Agreed. Can you build two for me? Then why are you taking it off? This is what I am now. What I overcame. Anything else feels... wrong. Like a disguise. I'll use the new arm when I need it. But the rest of the time... I will simply be myself. I wouldn't have it any other way. You have my thanks for doing this with me. Here. Something to mark our victory. Thank you. I'll see you later then. The ten be with you, Aloy. That's your weird parts I need. I'll have to explore more machine sites. Let's see what I can 
do with this? Oh, so where there's still still mines left. I should have just kept shooting. Oh well. All right, so we got that done. Um, nice and quick. And it doesn't look like I've unlocked this shelter yet. So kind of go ahead and run over there real quick. So we'll save here. I think we are going to go ahead and call this an episode now because I don't think... Actually, what do I have left? So... Yeah, the Alva mission. So that's going to probably take a few minutes. Um, these are all just random nonsense. Gauntlet runs... Still got one Vista point that I never tracked down. One other, I think, at least that I haven't found, but nothing I need to worry about right now. Okay, so yeah, next episode then, we are going to go ahead and do um, the Forbidden Legacy episode. In fact, I'm going to start it right now. Um, and that will be the last thing that we do before heading to the end game, I think. So... If you're having fun, like and subscribe. Again, I apologize for the audio issues at the beginning. Hopefully that's cleared up now. I feel like I say that a lot, unfortunately. Um, audio has always been my, big, my biggest problem as a streamer. But anyway, uh, like, subscribe, tell your friends. I'll be back soon with more. Thank you so much for watching.